Hey guys, I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Been kind of busy doing some outdoor work, uh, some projects. We've had some trees come down and, and had to deal with that. So it, that's taken up most of my free time outside of my uh, normal job. So I wanted to try and do something real quick today. And I have had this uh, project need for a while. So, so what I've got here is I've got uh, one of those big rolls of paper um, and I need some way of holding it so that I can tear pieces off of it. Um, I've seen guys that mount them to the underside of their bench, that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I don't have room underneath my bench to do that. And so what I did is I, I'm going to buy, or I bought rather, what, what I did is I bought a, a length, and this happens to be a four foot length. Uh, I'll probably cut it down at some point um, once I know what I'm going to do at the top. Uh, but just a normal flange, closet flange, I think they call, call that. This is three quarter black pipe. Uh, there is a, a center here and take the cap off. Uh, when you go to put this through here, which you can't see. Okay. All right. So it's got a center um, for mounting on some kind of a pole or whatever. They, I know they sell things uh, made for these rolls that you can mount them on. But mine, uh, I want to just put this piece of black pipe through and the hole was three quarter and the pipe is a little bit bigger than that. So some time ago, I, I ordered a set of these uh, reams, um, countersinks, whatever you want to call them, um, from Izzy Swan. <laughs> Izzy Swan posted on his channel a long time ago. The, he uses these and um, so I, I had different a different style and I, I ordered a bunch of these. Well, I ordered a set of them, I should say. And uh, that was the only thing in my arsenal here that I had that was big enough that would actually, I could put a hole in here. You know, I've got Forstner bits and, and whatnot, but you can't, with the way this is, just, it just didn't work. This seemed to work out. So I, I was able to use that as a ream, as a ream, which is why I called it a ream, I believe, um, to be able to make that hole big enough to be able to put the, the black pipe all the way through. So, That was a crash off camera. Don't worry about that. Now. Don't, don't, don't you worry yourself none about that. that. That stuff happens to me all the time. I'm not crap down. I'm oh, geez. That's a heavy roll. All right, so what I've got here is a little mini movers dolly that I picked up at Harbor Freight. Um, I don't know if it, it was one of their freebie giveaways one time. I, I honestly don't remember. But I picked this up and I measured uh, between here and I put a piece of uh, plywood. So it's really, right now it's just friction fit. Uh, it, I cut it kind of exact, so it's, it's, it's not moving right now, but I'm sure if, with the weight of that thing on there, it probably would move. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill and, and put a few holes in here. And then what we'll do is we will, we will try and center this. Um, flange in here and we'll mount this flange on here and then we'll be able to put our roll of paper down so that's really the project that I have it's not a ton and it's just kind of showing another way that you you can deal with the, the paper rolls if you happen to purchase a paper roll um, they come in real handy I use it a ton I'm sure you've seen in my other videos uh, for covering up my bench uh, a lot of times I'll double it up when I'm painting or staining something uh, finishing a project. Um, I think uh, my wife has actually wrapped wrapped something with it, like a package. Um, so it, it comes in real handy. I use it for a lot of things, like I said. And so today, like uh, today, I'm going to just kind of make it a little bit more permanent home uh, on this dolly. Um, so let's. let's get... All right, so we're gonna start by just pre-rolling some holes here. I'm not gonna put any glue down uh, in case I wanna ever take this apart and actually use it as a dolly. All right, so we're about 18, and I know this is roughly 
11 and 3 quarters. So try and get us somewhat in the center. Let's go 9 inches. And there's something about like that. Four and a quarter, about four and a quarter. That looks good. All right, well, let's pre drill these. Let's just do that. Seems pretty strong to me. I mean, it, it just has to be something that it can spin on. So, I'll go ahead and set this down on the ground. Oh gosh, this thing does weigh a lot. So now we're going to go ahead and put it on the dolly. I left the uh, the top one out. It kind of came out when I was messing with it, so I left it out. I figured that'd be better to be able to put it on. So now I just will realign it with how it came out. Press it back in there. Okay. So now when I want some, oh yeah. That's nice. It rides on there, spins real nice. It won't fall over on me. Now what I think I'll end up doing here at some point is coming up with uh, something that slips over this maybe and anchor down there on the rest of that plywood to be able to easily tear it off. But for now that's a quick easy project. Um, let me pick it up here just see so you can see it. Uh, so I got my dolly, it rolls around. The, the roll, as you can see, spins on that flange real nice. So I think that's going to work out good. And I can roll it out of the way and keep it where I need it and bring it back when I, whenever I need a piece. And for now, you know, until I figure out a way to tear it off, I just use scissors. Either that or an, uh, a utility knife, and that should do it. All right, so again, uh, I've got a number of projects. Uh, I've got some videos that uh, have many, many hours of footage that I'm still trying to edit. Um, I still have the... Uh, dining room table uh, project that I'm working on. Uh, all of the rough construction is done. Uh, I just have to really sand it and uh, and work on the finish. And uh, I don't know if, you know, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I can always put out, you know, part of, a, you know, a, a, a you know, two-part video, part one, uh, you know, getting all the construction done and um, what the table looks like by itself uh, before redoing the finish. Um, but I've got, like I said, I've got all the construction done. I just, and I've started editing that footage, but, uh, I haven't had a time, hadn't had time to, uh, to really get back to the sanding, uh, of that table. Cause it has to be sanded down to bare wood and, uh, and then refinished. So, uh, that's where that project stands. What else? Um, I, I've got some steel, some square steel here. And uh, I salvaged a couple old John Deere tractor tires off of a very old John Deere. And uh, I plan on making a, a small uh, log arch. And hopefully that'll be uh, next weekend. Um, I wanted to do it this weekend, but it was just too doggone uh, humid outside. And uh, that's where I'm going to do most of the welding at, I believe, is outside. So um, it just was too hot for me to do it outside this weekend. 
So hopefully uh, next weekend will be a little bit better. Uh, and we'll get that project going. But for now, hopefully this is uh, shows you something. I am still alive. I'm still, still working on projects. Uh, I just uh, haven't had time to get all the video footage uh, edited. So until next time, thanks for hanging with Harv. <laughs>